Hello all of you. Welcome back to X Machines channel. Since welding became widely used in the 1930s, it has changed the mechanical engineering industry by leaps and bounds. Especially in the shipbuilding industry, before every ship was constructed on the building berth from the keel upward, which takes a lot of labor and time because of the complexity of this method. The modern method of applying welding machines and technologies makes the construction of ships much simpler, faster and more efficient. For a hands-on look at this method of shipbuilding, X Machines visited the Foss Rainier, or shipyard to explore the process of building Arctic-class tugs. The modern method is to construct large parts of the hull, for example, the complete bow and stern. Each of these parts is built up from subassemblies or component parts, which are then welded together to form the complete bow or stern. The tug includes two Caterpillar C288 main engine, which complies with the highest federal environmental standards, a Nautican propulsion system, and Rangius reduction gears. These sections of the ship are manufactured under cover in large sheds, generally at some distance from the building berth, before being transported to the berth and they're fitted into place and welded to the adjacent section. The advantages of this procedure are that work can proceed under cover, unhampered by bad weather, and the units or component parts can be built up in sequences to suit the welding operations, not always possible at the building berth itself. After the hull assembly, construction, flip and installation of the bow and stern modules, the installation of two Caterpillar C288 main engines, go to superstructure install, and wheelhouse construction. These scenes show construction through the transportation of the hull, which has Nautican's high-efficiency nozzle and rudder assembly, driven through a set of Rangius reduction gears, to Vancouver, Washington to have a Markey machinery tow winch installed, before returning to Rainier for her wheelhouse installation. The tug is ice class D0, meaning the hulls are designed specifically for polar waters and are reinforced to maneuver in ice. It complies with the requirements in the ABS guide for building and classing vessels intended to operate in polar waters, including ABS A1 standards, Solus and Green Passport. The tow winch was supplied by Markey Machinery, a world-renowned leader in marine and non-marine winch fabrication and servicing, entirely based in Seattle, Washington. The tug has a bollard pull of 221,000 pounds.
The vessel incorporates several environmentally focused designs and structural and technological upgrades, including elimination of ballast tanks, so there is no chance of transporting invasive species, holding tanks for black and gray water to permit operations in no discharge zones, such as parts of Alaska and California, hydraulic oil systems compatible with biodegradable oil, energy efficient LED lighting, and high energy absorption Schuyler fendering. The tugboat has been designed to withstand the rigors of Arctic operations and is suited to work in the oil and gas industry. Another application of welding technology in the mechanical industry is the production of freight car systems for rail traffic. X Machines will take you to visit the workshop of Wascosa AG Company based in Switzerland. Here we will explore the production process applying welding technology and modern welding machinery. The steel plates are fed into the CNC cutting machine, where they are cut into small pieces according to a pre-programmed design on the CNC machine. These steel pieces will be transferred to the welding workshop. Here some simple parts have been programmed to weld automatically by a modern robotic welding arm. The remaining parts are directly welded by the welder. Wascosa is a family company founded in 1964 and headquartered in Lucerne, Switzerland. As Europe's first supplier of freight wagon systems, Wascosa supplies modern freight wagons tailored to the requirements of the forwarding industry. The fleet ranges from tank cars for the chemical and petrochemical industry, to cars for combined traffic, right through to cars for bulk goods transportation. The frame part after welding will be moved to the next stage, which is rail wheel assembly. One of the final stages is painting. The frames will be anti rust and color painted. Their freight cars are amongst the most advanced currently rolling on Europe's rails. 50% of their cars are 5 years old or less. The company has developed a tank car that can be used throughout Europe, the patented Wascosa Euro tank car. Further innovative solutions and new patents follow every year.
Robotic arc welding is one of the most popular welding processes in industrial settings, because of its speed and ability to process many metallic materials. In this scene, we will explore the advantages of using the KUKA robot in welding. KUKA is one of the world's leading suppliers of industrial robots with core competencies in the development, production and sale of industrial robots, controllers and software. KUKA offers ideal solutions for all robotic welding requirements, from the use of robotic welders with high path accuracy to pre-configured arc welding robot cells and fully automated welding systems. KUKA robots for arc welding are available with payload capacities from 6 to 22 kg and reaches of up to 3,100 mm, with a wide range of special variants available. Broad portfolio of standardized and customer-specific positioners and turntables for payloads from 250 to 12,000 kg. Thank you for watching the video, please leave a comment to discuss more about this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more useful videos from X Machines.